lot of people don't really know what dermatopathology is. Basically what we do is if you go see a dermatologist and they look at your skin, and not always dermatologists, but mostly dermatologists, and they see something that they're worried about or you've got a skin rash, they'll take a skin biopsy and they'll send it to someone like me to look at under the microscope to make, give them an answer. Basically as a dermatopathologist, what you do is you go through training. Uh, you can either be a dermatologist trained first and then take another year or more and then you're specialized as a dermatopathologist or you can start off as a pathologist and then take a year of fellowship training and then take an examination and then you also can be board certified as a dermatopathologist. There are a lot of skin diseases that people can get. I mean if you open up a textbook of dermatology or dermatopathology there are literally hundreds and hundreds of diseases that people can be afflicted with and so when you go see your dermatologist you know they're trying to figure out what you have and so one of the things they do is take a skin biopsy. Um, sometimes the answer is very easy under the microscope. You can tell right away, like for example, a lot of skin cancers are real easy to diagnose. Others may be more difficult to diagnose, especially some of the, the skin rashes that people get. A lot of them can look kind of alike under the microscope. So we'll often uh, call a dermatologist and we'll discuss a case with them. Um, sometimes they'll actually send pictures. We'll look at the clinical photographs and correlate that with what we see under the microscope. Sometimes they'll even actually bring a patient to us to see, or they'll send them to my clinic, or we'll go to a conference where the patients are there, and then we'll kind of put everything together to come up with, with the right answer. Our goal is to try to get the best answer for the patient, because once we make a diagnosis, then they can start treating that disease appropriately and make them better. It is a rewarding field because we do make diagnoses and we do help people, and unfortunately, I don't see a lot of patients, although I do still see patients at my clinic. But uh, a lot of times we just get the slide under the microscope and then we try to figure out what's going on there. And most of the time we actually can help the patient and, and, and come up with an answer that improves the patient's lives. And that's, that's quite rewarding when we're able to do that and we get feedback from the dermatologists. Oh, you, you really helped my patient. You got the right answer and I was able to treat them appropriately.